Hey y'all, let's do a little red dumb roundup. What do you say? First of all, noted shame factories, James Comer and Jim Jordan were shocked to find that their star witness in the Biden crime family case, Alexander Smirnoff, was actually a liar with ties to Russian intelligence. Well, it must be my birthday. These people's capacity for public humiliation is truly unmatched. Y'all, I feel like if I saw James Comer on my TV standing by a Hummer and yelling for people to push, pull, or drag it in, I still would think to myself, this guy seems too dumb for this job let alone being a congressman, right? Like, did nobody on their team think to check if the guy named Smirnoff had some Rusky ties? Really? I picture them in a meeting and one of their team members is like, Congressman, you're going to love this. we got a star witness. going to blow this whole thing open. Great. What's his name? Uh, his name is Ivan the Iron Bear Ivanovich. Sounds like a true patriot. Let's bring him in. Right, and these Russian agents have got to be laughing their asses off at how easy it is to psyop these dummies. They're over there in Russia just like, they bought, they totally bought it, the whole thing. What should we tell them next? Oh, I know, tell them tell them that Biden is growing Mexicans in laboratory. Oh, and, and he's switching penis and vagina on all the lab Mexicans for no reason. And on the day they leave the lab, he gives them job done by white man and book written by black woman. This is going to be great. And I look, I think a lot of us have known for a while this wasn't going to amount to nothing, but I'm not sure we expected a twist twist quite so satisfying. Speaking of not amounting to nothing, truckers for Trump are on one again. Now look, I respect truckers. My granddaddy was a trucker. I know the impact y'all can have. I mean, when my papa's ticker finally gave out, it took the regional lot lizard economy weeks to recover. I know your power, but truckers for Trump are a different breed though. First of all, Trump hates truckers. He probably looks down at the dude who drives his ass around, let alone somebody that hauls toilet paper and spam. He hates them, but they love him though. And now because of the big verdict last week, they're threatening to shut down deliveries to New York. York. Of course, they say a lot of things. You remember the big convoy from God? They threatened to unleash on the southern border, and then it ended up being like six trucks and ten dudes or something. And the whole way down, they kept fighting with each other because they couldn't agree on how to properly rank Kid Rock's oeuvre or whatever. I'm just saying they're not the most stable or cohesive group. Also, I find it hard to believe that the global center of capitalism is going to be brought to its knees by a handful of dudes with titties on their mud flaps. That's all I'm saying. And lastly, Alabama is trying to legally recognize frozen embryos as human children, which would effectively end IVF, a process used by 15% of couples there, in the state. Now, because how IVF works, typically those couples tend to be older from a more stable situation with better finances and the conviction that they absolutely want to have a baby. So naturally, you can see why the state of Alabama would look at those couples and go, oh, no kids for them. No, oh, sounds to me like those kids might turn out to be smart. Gross. Absolutely not. Listen, side note, you know how teenagers are super horny and irresponsible? Well, I was thinking we take all their condoms away. Huh? Sounds good, right? Praise the Lord. Roll Tide. All right, that'll do it for me, y'all. Existence is a nightmare. Love yous. All right, YouTube, I appreciate it. How y'all doing? Thank you. No ad this week. Hey, how about that? Wonders never cease, but I'm gonna put my stuff up here. This is my special damn boy. Watch me do stand up there. Watch me do stand up in person for real down here. If you go to tradecrowder.com, see my tour dates, come and see me. And then lastly, subscribe to the channel. See, get all these things, all my podcasts, all my stuff. It means a lot to me. And the most important thing is you keep watching these silly missives. I'll keep making them. I love you like chicken. See you, bye.